the word defibrillator for today where we kickstart your day with a word from within the word. Oh, yeah, you know, we've had those ones where we've heard it all before. But this morning when I had a look, to, look at it, it was like, whoa, hold on a second. Could there be something more? And, you know, when we're reading the Amplified Version, there is always something more. First Corinthians 15. Let's start off at verse 55. O oh, death, where is your victory? O oh, death, where is your sting? Now, sin is the sting of death. And sin exercises its power upon the soul through abuse of the law. But, and we know how we love that word, but, that whatever comes before is about to change. But thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. Don't forget that. But thanks be to God who gives us victory, making us conquerors. Through our Lord Jesus Christ. Now that's very interesting. Because if he's giving us the victory. And it says in the expanded version in the Amplified. Making us conquerors. How amazing is that? Is that before you didn't even have the title. You were never a conqueror. We do know the word says that we are more than conquerors. Here is the first step. So it's thanks be to God, and we're thanking him. Why? Because the victory is a gift to us. It's here. It's yours, given. And then you carry the title, conqueror. Say what? Yet you've done nothing to achieve it. And it's all through the Lord Jesus Christ and what he has done. So when you get given a victory that you did nothing to attain, and it's a gift You've got to just walk in it. You've got to walk as a conqueror because you are. Nothing for what you and I have done. We, because of Christ Jesus and what he's done, become automatically conquerors when we are in the Lord Jesus Christ. And because of that, it goes on to say, therefore, so because of that, verse 58, my beloved brethren, be firm, steadfast, immovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, always being superior, excelling, doing more than enough in the service of the Lord, knowing and being continually aware that your labor in the Lord is not futile. It is never wasted or to no purpose. Boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Do I ever feel tired? Do I ever feel like, you know what, today I just want to take the day off? Sometimes I just go, you know what, I want to take the day off. Let's just cancel it through a lack of interest. Really, we, I just want to stay in bed. Because you know, as soon as your foot touches that floor, you now have to engage the world, whatever comes your way. And sometimes the greatest boxer, if his arms are weak, he cannot defend himself. Even a small child will be able to give him a bit of a beating. But how amazing is this? So we've got to give thanks to God. For what reason? Well, you've been given a gift. As salvation is a gift by God's grace so that no man can boast and say, I did it. So is victory. So in every challenge that we have in our lives, thank you, Lord, for the victory, which is in Christ Jesus. I am a conqueror. Therefore, Lack of finances will be conquered. Lack of food will be con conquered. Every need that I have will be conquered because every knee shall bow and every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. He is the king. He is the victor. He's won the victory. Therefore, because we are in Christ, we are conquerors. And what we need to do because of that, because we own and walk in the victory, be firm steadfast father i pray from the bottom of my heart that you empower us through your holy spirit not by power not by might but by our spirit by but by your spirit that we are immovable always abounding in the work of you lord always being superior at the top of our game excelling doing more than enough in the service of you lord going beyond the norm 
going beyond expectations. Knowing and being continually aware that our labor, Father, is never futile. No matter how small and no matter how much we feel, we are not getting breakthrough. You know, Father, the way that they make a tunnel in a mountain is chipping away one piece of rock at a time. Just a small piece. How do we chop down a tree? In the beginning, there's no ways that tree is going anywhere. But the more we persist, the more that we continue, the more that we push through, it's going to fall. There will be breakthrough. It's just a matter of time. And Father, a matter of timing. So I thank you, Father, that whatever we do, doesn't matter how tired we are, we know it's never wasted. And it's for never no purpose. Thank you, Father, that it is so nice to sit back and know that we don't have to make anything happen. We just have to be. We just have to stay steadfast, stay focused, be thankful. And Father, knowing that the victory has already been given to us, may we walk tall. May we have that posture of a conqueror, a person who has won the battle. And Father, what's so amazing is we don't carry those battle scars. We carry scars of our own. And we thank you, Father, that those scars are reminders of the victory gained through our Lord Jesus Christ. We thank you for this. We hold our head up high, our chest puffed out, knowing that the victory is ours in Christ Jesus. We thank you for this in Jesus' name. Amen.